Hello Overclockers, my name is Nemo and I work with the tech department. Today I'm going to be going through how to set up SecureBoot so we can all be playing Battlefield 6. So first up, we're going to go through the Gigabyte BIOS, which can be found in our Mac 1.1 systems. So to get into the BIOS, all you need to do is, after you turn the system on, you just need to spam the delete key and then you should be presented with a screen such as this. Now that we are in the Gigabyte BIOS, we're going to go across over to Boot. And down here, you're going to see CSM will be disabled and Secure Boot, just a little bit below. Let's go into there and just enable that. If they are not enabled, or if it's the wrong way around, you'll see something like this, where you can't see Secure Boot there. All you need to do to enable this is to disable on CSM support. Go down to Secure Boot, make sure this is enabled, and then you can press F10 to save and exit. So in the event Secure Boot isn't working when you do enable it, I'm gonna show you a quick troubleshooting step that might be preventing you from getting this working. So I'll just take you back through this again. Again, we're going to disable CSM. And we're also gonna go back to Secure Boot. And as you can see, it's enabled, but you can see that it's not active. If I save and exit and I go back into BIOS and if we go back over to Secure Boot, it will still show that it is not active. The reason for this is because the Secure Boot key is just not assigning itself. So what we're going to do here is go to Secure Boot mode, change this from standard to custom and then if we take a look at key management, you'll see that there are no keys down at the bottom. That's fine, it's easily fixed. All we need to do here is restore factory keys. And then this is going to ask you to restart and not save. But once we go back into BIOS, as you can see, enabled and active. So that's only if you come across the issue where Secure Boot isn't enabling. That should fix you on Gigabyte motherboards. Moving on to an Asus board, which is featured in our Quartz systems. Again, all you need to do to get into BIOS is just spam the delete key. As you can see, as I've just gone into the BIOS, it's gone into easy mode. So all I'm going to do here is press F7, and then I'm going to go across to boot, and then go to secure boot, which is the second option. Go down to OS type, choose Windows UEFI, and then change this secure boot mode to standard and then just press F10, save and exit, and you're done. Up next, we've got an ASRock board, which can be featured in our Dolomite system. Again, all you need to do is just spam delete to get back into the BIOS. Once you're in the BIOS, you may come into the easy mode again, just to get over to advanced mode. This time it is going to be F6. Once you're in the advanced mode, we need to go across to boot, look for CSM, which is at the bottom usually, and just make sure that this is disabled. Once that is disabled, we're gonna go across to security, go into secure boot, and just make sure that this is enabled. As before, F10, save and exit, and you're done. Up next, we have got the MSI BIOS, which is featured in our carbide system. Again, just spam delete to get into the BIOS and you'll be presented with this screen. If you come in and you're on easy mode, again, just press F7 and you'll be in advanced mode. First things that we need to do on here is if you go into settings, go down to advanced. You just want to make sure that this is set to UEFI mode and not CSM. Once you've done that, come out of there and go across down to security. At the bottom here, we've got secure boot. All you want to do is just make sure that this is enabled. And again, F10, to save and exit, and you're ready. 
In this video, I have covered how to enable Secure Boot in several different motherboard BIOSes. Uh, if we've not covered your motherboard, then check out in the description below the EA link, which will probably cover your motherboard BIOS. There's a lot more different versions out there that you can see. If you've got an overclockers PC, then you're more than welcome to call support. If you don't have an overclockers PC, you can if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, and why not check out one of our how-to videos?